Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to bring you an exciting video. I have beautiful baby scorpion clones of Tidius Stigmuris to show you. Let's take a look and I'll teach you a little bit about them while we look for my new babies. I'm gonna hit the light so I can use my black light. My batteries on this are fading just a little bit, but you might be able to see this. Oh, and look at that. You might be able to see that these beautiful animals fluoresce. All these little flecks are little pieces of molt that they have lost here and there. I was so excited. The week or two ago when I was cleaning, actually it's been several weeks, and I found babies on a mother's back, and then I saw that they already were leaving the mother. So here's mama, and I was so excited to show you some of her beautiful little babies. Now I am going to separate them today now that they've grown up a little bit because ultimately parents will sometimes cannibalize their offspring. This is a fast growing Brazilian species with a venom of three to four on the venom scale which is pretty nasty. They sting people fairly often in their native country and their venom can cause nausea, swelling, uh, the feeling of pins and needles, numbness, vomiting, headaches, and a really unpleasant time. So far I have found three little ones. I didn't know how many would be viable. And so if you're wondering about my title in which I say that these babies are clones, this species actually reproduces through parthenogenesis. Most of them are female. And so these little scorplings are literal clones of the mother that get reproduced. Yep, I'm not gonna hold ya. I'm not gonna hold ya. That get reproduced asexually, which means without to partners without contribution of genetic material from a male and a female specimen. A few species of reptiles have been known to reproduce through parthenogenesis. Snakes who reproduce have been documented in rare cases reproducing through parthenogenesis. And I just find that highly fascinating. I think that these animals being clones of their beautiful mother is almost a scientific anomaly that I think is absolutely incredible. Very, very exciting. And one that I thought would be very interesting for you to see. So I'm going to continue to look through here, see if I can find any more babies. So this is also a rehousing video if you hadn't figured that out because I wanted to wait for these babies to grow up big enough that they could leave the mother and I could rehouse them in this video. Now would I die from a sting from this scorpion or scorpling? Definitely not, but I'm telling you, it might put a damper on my evening. So, not one that I really want to get stung by. They're not known to be aggressive. So, the likelihood of me even being stung by one would not be very high. Um, re similar to American species, these scorpions sting people uh, when they are threatened or feel in danger. For example, uh, in the American Southwest, we have native scorpions, which do not chase people down. 
they do not attack people for the sake of malice. However, what they do do is if they're just tucked away nice and cozy in your shoe and you put your big ugly fat toe in there and they think you're going to squish them to death, they might just sting you. These are not aggressive as I mentioned, but their stings are quite potent. Oh, there's another one. Oh, where are you going little buddy? And so you might see that I have a nice little plastic spoon and for you environmentalists I know that plastic spoons are not the most eco-friendly however just so you know I buy one small package of plastic spoons or even recycle plastic spoons that I happen to come across and I wash them and keep them over and over again for years Are you getting called in? In conclusion, I found five beautiful little babies. I'm gonna go ahead and water these lovely moms. And uh, they were recently fed. So they're good in that department. Let's take a look at these babies. See, they're already well hidden away. There's one hiding in the center of this cork, which you probably can't see. And see, there's two already hiding underneath this bark. There's another one. And so all together, I collected five scorplings from the adults that I had and oh there's one I'm gonna make sure they are nice and hydrated and tomorrow I will give them their first meal as independent living scorpions that is one of the coolest reproductions that I have ever achieved. Of course, I obviously didn't do much except keep those mamas fat and happy. One or two may become available once they get a little better established. Let me know if you would be interested in purchasing these babies or what you think is the coolest species of scorpion to reproduce. I hope you guys liked seeing this video of my tidiest Stigmuris clones. Pretty incredible. Hope you guys liked this one and I'll see you soon.